everybody, welcome back to this Secura D5S Drift Kit build. Today we're going to be working on bag 3, which is the front and the rear bulkhead. But this video is going to be dedicated just to the front bulkhead and then we'll build the rear in tomorrow's video. So let's get started. So it looks like for the front bulkhead, I'm going to need these two pieces as well as this one right here and some of the steering components. This, I believe this, and there's probably another piece somewhere, but let's start cutting these out. So in the last video, I had some trouble uh, finding screws and figuring out which was which. So this time I'm going to do what I used to do more often, which is to lay everything else on a mat and count everything so I know what I have. All right, that's everything. Let's get started. Looks like these three pieces have a little bit more of the tree that I need to cut out. All right, this is front bulkhead A, the one on the left side there. We can tell because the screw holes here on this side is countersunk. So this is the outside, we're gonna screw this way. And then same with this one. And it looks like this piece right here, the shock tower is the same both sides. So let's go ahead and connect these. And it's connected this way with the first two holes and these eight millimeter flathead screws. All right, next we're going to work on the steering assembly. We're going to put together the arms with the bridge. And for this step, we're going to need some blue thread lock. I'm using blue. It's removable. Uh, there's also red, which is a little bit more permanent. It requires heat to remove. I don't really want to apply heat to, even though this is feels kind of metal. Um, there's other components nearby. I really don't want to apply heat to anything. Um, so I'm just going to use blue, and when you go out and buy this, both of the tubes are actually this color. It's kind of strange. Even the white cardboard packaging is also red. You just have to look to see if it's either red or blue. So let's get started. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is put the ball stud onto the arm first. Okay, next we need to use the correct washer to punch into the bridge here and it's pretty easy to tell there's only one of the bearing size which is this small and will fit in this hole that's the one we're going to use I took a little bit of coaxing, but I got it in there and make sure it's flush. Next, we're going to put this arm onto the bridge with a 10 millimeter screw. Okay, now we're going to take the bridge in this orientation and put the arm on like this 
you don't want to swing this arm the other way. After you tighten it, you won't be able to swing it back. So make sure you have the correct orientation. Now we're going to dab carefully, adjust a little bit of Loctite. And that's it. Let's go ahead and work on the other one. And when you're done, it should look something like this. Make sure both still have free movement. And the last thing we're going to do is put on the ball studs. All right, the next step we're going to install the steering assembly into the bulkhead and it's going to be pinned onto these two holes right there. And to do so, we're going to use this sequence of screws and washers. I'm going to start with a set screw, post, bearing, brass washer, and then the bridge will go right here. Another bearing, countersunk washer, and then flathead screw on top. So first thing I'm going to do is to thread the set screws onto the bulkhead. That part is a little bit tricky, but if you look at it from this angle, it'll be easier. And now just the bearing on top. And then the countersunk spacer. Countersunk is going to be facing upward, obviously, to accommodate the screws. When you're done, it should look something like this. All right, I'm done with the front bulkhead. Let's go ahead and put it on to the chassis. Okay, the front bulkhead bolts onto the chassis with six screws onto these six holes right here. So let's go ahead and get one down by hand. And then we can use the driver for the rest. Okay, and we're done installing the front bulkhead. I'm going to call the video right here. Next video, we're going to be building the rear bulkhead. So if you got something out of this video, please drop a like. Subscribe to my channel for more video of this series and other car kits. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.